Now I'm actually going to feed a venomous snake for the first time in my life. Yeah, please do, or I'll smack you with a hook. That these are venomous snakes, and some of them can put you in the ground. Oh, nice. For his size, that actually felt quite powerful. Look forward to feeding this guy, because he's, well, he's a bit crazy. Two down, one to go. You wanna? Well, we are experiencing some technical difficulties over here. This shot is awesome. Thank you so much for that experience. Hello all you wonderful people and welcome back to the channel. And I think the most of you knows that I'm at my brother's place. I'm the brother. Yeah, I think you recognize it from the live. And I really hope all of you are having an amazing day and that all of you are doing great. And today we're going to do some, well, feeding and uh, water change with the retics at least. And yeah, and by the way guys, I am going to feed some venomous. So stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Yeah, here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. By the way guys, don't forget to subscribe to my brother's channel as well, Thomas Serpus. Yeah, please do, or I'll smack you with a hook. So, first, what do you say, order, no, first, order on the list. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, changing the water to the retex. Uh, I mean, it, this water bowl is super heavy, and whenever I do it by myself, uh, I always spill, and it sucks, and yeah, it sucks. So now that we're two, yeah, we're together. Yeah, it might be a bit slow. Waste the freaking top. Wait one second. There we go. And yeah, guys, with water, it's not easy to lift this thing. No. We'll be right back. A few moments later. Yeah. It's gonna take a few of these to actually fill this up. Yeah. So yeah, I'm actually gonna yeah. leave the volume like that if they want to crawl into it. Yeah. And as you guys probably understand, this mister is way too small for this enclosure, so I think it's gonna take a while. Like this. I like to the list as well. So now it goes into the substrate a little bit. Yeah. Especially on the warm side, so. Yeah, if you to build really, up the humidity. Yeah, I mean if you really soak the substrate, which is right under the heat pad, it will um, uh, evaporate and keep the humidity super good. If you have a smaller enclosure, like say four feet, then you can just pour in water in the substrate and mix it around. That's a really good. Yeah, especially during the summer when it gets hot and. Uh, well, if it's dry, you should do that if you have a small enclosure. In this enclosure, it's uh, well, you can do it, but it's kind of hard. So, yeah, that that if that is if you have an animal that need that that requires a bit higher humidity. But I think this will be good for now. Yeah.
So, these guys have made a mess once again. It wasn't long since I had them out, uh, but they do be pooping. So, I better just grab this one. Oops. Oh, that's awfully kind. Usually yeah. that one is pretty annoying. That went really smooth, actually. Yeah. And the one that's, or is it this one? That's, yeah, I bet it's this one. That's, there's one of them who's extra annoying to try to get a hold of. And I figured it's this one. You have to, a bit squirmy, right? Yeah. And you kind of have to rip everything out. Which, I mean, I don't mind because I kind of have to do that anyway. Because poop. Yeah. And yeah. That is not a happy snake. It's not. But not super angry either. Well, more like, leave me the hell alone. Yeah. And it can be really annoying sometimes. But one thing in this box, they actually... Well, shouldn't have said that. I was going to say that they don't mind, they aren't escaping. Yeah, I mean, they normally don't. That one was... Really close. Oh, there we go. And down the box with you. There we go. Everyone's safe and sound. Yeah. Slightly annoyed, but not aggressive. No. Not that actually. Yeah, I mean the female can be. Uh, like if you don't know like saw scale vipers you've seen this on my channel and you've seen this on this channel uh, I'm talking to two different cameras here uh, that they they're called saw scale vipers because they rub their scales together and make a noise a similar vibe to like a rattlesnake uh, although not the same thing um, and the female have started to do that every now and then, but she didn't today, meaning she's not super unhappy, which is always nice. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this done and I'll see you in a second. So, everything is done. We'll clean all the poop and pee and uh, fresh water and stuff. So, they're just about ready to go back. And this one seems to want to stay in the box. Yeah. But yeah, you go back. And yeah, as my dear brother pointed out, this one has a massive, massive poop going on. Look at, at the end of the tail. See how thick it is? Yeah. That's a great sign of a great poop. Yeah. Which, of course, is going to happen right when I clean them out. So, go, go me. Go life. So, two down, one to go. You want them? Yeah, sure. And hand all the cameras. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go right here. So, try to go under. Yeah. It's not easy. Yeah, it's pretty hard to pick them out. 
of this box. So, yes, maybe I can get it to get on the hook. Yeah, it's there usually... There we go, there we go. Yeah. Nope. And he's going to glide right off. It's really thick. There's, yeah, they're in the back. There we go, buddy. Yeah, they're usually pretty chill once they go back. They don't really mess around too much. Need to lock it. Oh, this was. Nice and safe. That's how we do it. Locked and secure, as yeah. Shannon says. Yeah. So, how was it? It was um, exciting. It was uh, fun. Yeah. It was actually not easy, to be honest, because with this hook, it's rounded, and I know what you talked about it. If it's uh, more flat like this, it's easy to pick them up, especially in this box, it would have been better. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was it worked. I managed to do it at least, and I'm happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, to be honest, it's, of course, handling venomous snakes is exciting, it's scary, it's, well, so, but, it's awesome. Yeah, it is kind of awesome. Sorry guys for dropping in like this, but I had to do a disclaimer. And that is that these are venomous snakes and some of them can put you in the ground. So this is not something that everyone should do. I am doing this under the supervision of a professional. I would never do this if my brother wasn't there. Just want to clarify that guys. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot here because this guy is in shed. And I'm starting to get into shed. So I'm just gonna change the water and mist, but you know, since he's out, it's nice to take a look. He is adorable. Yeah, he is. Or she. Or she, yeah, that's right. Yeah, some, some time I'm gonna find out what this is. So, now it's feeding time for the for the Sosuke vipers. Sosuke and vipers, that's right. I don't know why, but you messed up the combination. Sorry. Or did you? Or did I? And then... Well, we are experiencing some technical difficulties over here. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the saw scale vipers and we're gonna see which ones of these are the smallest they are so you small. want me to grab a cap? no i can i can do it i'm pretty used to it by now there we go one down two to go i'm just gonna find them all There we Whoa. go. Oh. Whoa, two holes there. Let's hurry up before that one steals the food from me. There we go. It's always an easy thing to feed these guys. They are always hungry. And if you take a look at that one. So you they can bite see and hold. They do. And you can actually see the sheets of the fangs in that one. The mics, in a way, have to zoom in. So yeah, do you see that? You can almost see the little bit of the fangs. Yeah. Oh, we have some. And this one, too, I guess. Yeah. You're gonna see her start to walk the prey item into her mouth if she doesn't disappear. Which I think she will now. Yeah, but this one, 
this guy is sorry to do it and uh, it's very cool they use their fangs kind of like walking sticks yeah so to speak and push the prey in them this shot is awesome <laughs> yeah they're pretty damn adorable yeah wow this is amazing this is amazing you guys see this this is freaking awesome he eats insanely fast like a colubrid yeah he is pretty damn fast i mean the the small cobra he's insane but this for like a viper yeah he's pretty damn fast yeah like the copperhead he takes forever to eat which you'll probably see soon unless he's like extremely hungry but if he's eating as normal it will take pretty much the rest of the day super slow if you watched my videos before you'll know it's like a 50 50 thing if you eat uh, you see? yeah i don't even know i think he's in this coconut that's in there but yeah now he is have a hide yeah it's there. there yeah he actually likes that a lot he's super hidden okay. nice yeah but makes him feel secure yeah and I have no idea if it's actually there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna try to find him first. I found him. Yeah, oh, oh, here he comes. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't make him chase it so much. Oh, I don't think he'll it. see great at the moment. That was awesome. Yeah, I mean, I always love when I actually get him to eat on camera like half the time I don't even see him eat like I try to feed him and he doesn't take it and then I feed the rest of the snakes and when I'm done with that all of his little things are gone So, time for the spinning cover, right? Yes. So we're gonna start with a small one. Oh, nice. Wow, she's dark. Yeah, I am pretty sure she will shed in a not too distant future. She is getting big. Yeah, look at how small that yeah. mouse is. It's almost too small for her now. Yeah. Maybe she, she should be on what they call the size hoppers, right? Yeah, um, you know it's always hard to see your babies grow up, it's hard to accept, and I gotta accept that she's not a tiny baby anymore. Yeah. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, and I wonder if she's gonna... Nope. That would be the thermostat going crazy because... We open. Yeah. But yeah, I wonder if she will eat it or if we, she will just chew on it and then drop it like she's done before. Oh. But yeah, I, I think she's gonna eat that. She doesn't seem too bothered by us, which is strange, right? Yeah, it's pretty weird because she usually hates me. That probably means that she loves me. Yeah, or she's just really hungry. Yeah. Can be that. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's the most probable yeah. thing. She's not a she's not a people snake. No. Is she going through shed? I Her think eyes look so. Cloudy? Yeah, she is way darker than she normally is, and her eyes look weird. So yeah, yeah, things been going crazy in the shed department over here. 
Everyone is shedding. She kind of looks like a moray. See her fangs? They are not big. No, uh, elapids have really small fangs because they're in a fixed position. So vipers, they will fold their fangs uh, back in their mouth. So they have quite long fangs. But elapids, uh, they cannot move their fangs, so they are usually a lot smaller. He's a pretty hungry guy. And this is bite and release, right? So yeah. They are smoke. quite like rattlesnakes in that manner. But yeah, he will get to that in his own time. So guys, now I'm actually going to feed a venomous snake for the first time in my life. And to be honest, I'm really excited about this. So wish me luck, guys. So, my first time feeding a venomous snake. Yeah, he is a bit hard to see. Uh, oh, he... Yeah, I think he, he got it. He got it. But he, he got stuck in the tongue, so... Yeah, that happens. <sighs> that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's quite fun. Yeah. You have quite the bite force. Yeah, actually, for his size, that actually felt quite powerful. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and it, it's gonna take some time before they start to eat, so let's just move on. Move on to the next one. Here are the female puff feather. Yeah, and, and she looks quite ready, so. Yeah, she is right there in the back. Should I go from the top? Or yeah, just do it from the top. And there we go. Yeah. Sorry everyone on my channel. <laughs> I'm gonna have to film the screen of his phone. Did she did she get it? Yeah, she got it. But she did she, she did release, right? I think I uh, that's Yeah, that's quite possible. So yeah, now we're gonna do the crazy little man. Yeah, and this yeah, I, I look forward to feeding this guy because he's, well, he's a bit crazy. Yeah, he's like the sweetest guy ever, but he turns turns to an absolute madman Nice when he eats. But today he actually got a very good strike, uh, which is not always the case. I can promise you that. He did really good, actually. Yeah. And again, sorry, anyone on my channel. Yeah, I have no idea why the lights are flickering with this camera. It just do. And we're gonna have to live with that. So yeah, now I've fed venomous snakes for the first time in my life. And well, it is a different experience. I have to say that. Yeah, it is. You have to be more aware of where the snake is and yeah, the strike range and yeah. So, but this was actually awesome. Yeah. I'm really glad I got to do this, so... Yeah, and we're gonna do more in the future. Yeah, and we started off with kind of like the easier ones. I mean, you could probably have done the saw scale as well. Yeah, yeah but there's three in that enclosure and you know them better than I do, so... Yeah. yeah. But... Yeah, he doesn't really care who feeds him. He's just happy to eat. Yeah. So guys, that's it for today. And I really hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed it very much. My first so time good. feeding venom snakes. It was awesome. Thank you so much for that experience. Yeah, no, no problems. 
Yes, a little quick. And let's, let's, let's make him part of the outro. Yeah, of course. Like, let's look at that. That's just cool. Yeah, that's awesome. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to my brother as well. If you go to his channel and subscribe and watch his content, you will not regret it. I promise you guys. And well, is there anything else to say? Just, you guys are awesome. You really we, are. Yeah, and we are super thankful for anyone who's watching. And yeah, and to everyone that watched the live, thank you so much. That meant a lot to me, actually. Like yeah. they, it moved me a little bit to see people, well, to know that I can touch someone's life that way. So thank you so much for that. It meant a lot to me. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave with this. Take care, be kind to someone, and at least always try to show other people respect and also follow your dreams. So till next time, take care, guys, and I love you.